this video I'm going to talk about the contact form uh, element so to preview the forms just go to elements and contact form and if you look into the whole page you can see basically the form is a bit standard but it does have, have um, uh, more or less uh, fields or in this example a custom uh, recaptcha uh, functionality so I'm going to try to edit this page with a page builder and let's try editing this element now if you take a look at this uh, uh, element you can see that I could uh, add a description for the element I could uh, add uh, uh, an email address uh, in this new version actually quite today actually we've added a new feature to uh, separate the to add multiple recipients of uh, email addresses and I think I haven't done it myself but I seen uh, an update and I think it's uh, the separator is a comma uh, I will make sure and um, uh, write it into that do the documentation but just did a quick uh, a pause and uh, verified the uh, separator and yes the separator is a comma so if you want to add another email say uh, james at your website dot com uh, the contact the contact form will send the email to both email addresses now um, we can also change the uh, text of the uh, send button we can uh, change the subject of the uh, email you can uh, um, change the text of the confirmation and the captcha field like I said is this one if you want to uh, you first have to set up uh, the um, uh, recapture code back into the backend Kalias options uh, sorry general options and recaptcha options so then you can also choose whether you want to display uh, either labels or placeholders or even both in this example both are selected in case you're wondering what's the difference between a label and a placeholder well, this is the label, this is the placeholder. Um, this text actually does not exist, but it lies there as a hint, for example, into the field. So uh, you can uh, custom it into this uh, form constructor, form builder, better said. And as you can see, each field is uh, created and it basically has uh, quite any option as you as you want so you can define the the name or the label the field type text text area select or checkbox uh, you can change the placeholder you can specify the uh, width of the uh, field for example this one here has a half width while well, this email field as you can see it's fully stretched so it's full you can specify the validation of the uh, of the field either no validation uh, value not empty meaning always make sure the value for this options not to be empty uh, you can uh, you can and you and sorry you can also specify if the value is an email it will automatically parse the uh, the email address and lastly you can specify if this field is an email field 
so that's about it uh, let me show you also the uh, department uh, field which is a select box and this uh, this is a uh, sort of a JSON uh, kind of uh, string so as you can see we have a, lot, a few options here uh, this is the value um, each each uh, option value in the select list is separated by a comma while the uh, value the key and the value of the uh, of that option is uh, separated by a double column and that's about it this is the main difference between um, the the fields so let's try to create a, a field I'm going to create a section I'm going to search for the contact form subject test the mail sent message and no captcha labels or placeholders I'm going to simply choose labels so I'm going to create a new field example field I'm going to set it as as a text example full width no validation no I'm just going to try to clone it sorry hmm. example 2 3 Anyway, this is the, I just basically generated the custom form with uh, uh, three text fields. So that's about it for uh, this contact form, um, not sure if uh, something uh, skipped. Generally if you encounter uh, problems with the fact that the form does not send uh, emails you might also want to check your server's uh, configuration so far we had uh, a lot of problems with uh, uh, people uh, our buyers uh, hosting a, a platform which had uh, I don't know uh, some uh, hosting had uh, the mail function blocked uh, others had the um, mail send and so on so uh, you might have problems if you do uh, try to uh, have a talk with your uh, hosting uh, company and you can also try uh, contact us contacting us too and uh, we'll uh, surely try to help you so that's about it for uh, this element thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye